Hello, welcome to Med School Pneumonics. Today we'll be talking about acute lymphoblastic leukemia. There's two subtypes, the B cell and the T cell, referred to as BALL and TALL. Looking at the big picture, you have hemopoietic stem cells. You can then get myeloblasts or lymphoblasts. Today we'll be talking about the lymphoblastic leukemias with the two subtypes of B cell and T cell. Our first memory hook will be an ATVing adventure, so let's get started. All 12 year olds want to be 21 and go ATVing and cause a ruckus and get down. Too bad the runt who is only 10 is not mature enough to join. Let's break this down. 12 year olds want to be 21 represents the translocation T1221. Go ETVing and cause a ruckus represents the fusion protein ETV6 and RUNX1. The ETV6 is a transcription repressor and the RUNX1 is a transcription factor that promotes proliferation. When you have the fusion protein, the ETV can be downregulated and the RUNX1 can cause uh, uh, proliferation. This fusion protein can also act as a unit in order to activate pathways for proliferation, as well as decrease the sensitivity of inhibitory pathways. So working in a few different ways. Down represents the Down syndrome association of the ALL. Too bad B represents the marker TDT, which is there for pre T cells and pre B cells. Only 10 represents the B cell marker CD10. This helps you differentiate BALL from TALL because CD10 is B cell specific and TALL, the T cells will not have this CD10 marker. Not mature represents immature or blastic cells telling us that we're dealing with a blastic disease. This is a pretty bare bone clinical case that will highlight some of the features in a clinical scenario. So nine-year-old male with Down syndrome presents with bone pain, fatigue, and sore throat. On physical exam, you find pallor, petechiae, and splenomegaly. Rapid strep is positive. CBC shows pancytopenia, and peripheral smear shows blast. Flow cytometry is TDT positive and CD10 positive. Bone marrow biopsy confirms ALL with greater than 20% lymphoblasts in the bone marrow. So I'm gonna pull out some of the key features. We have a nine-year-old telling us the age range is less than a teen. Down syndrome association. A lot of his signs and symptoms are related to his pancytopenia, including the rapid positive strep because the blasts are crowding out the bone marrow and you're not getting those granulocytes for your immune system. The TDT positive and the blasts on smear tell us this is a blastic disease. The CD10 positive leads us more to a B cell ALL over a T cell ALL. The bone marrow biopsy is required uh, in order to diagnose ALL and that biopsy needs greater than 20% lymphoblasts. Our next memory hook is going to be a teen who likes to smoke a lot of weed. So we have Immature teens hide the gram of thymus in the notch, then go smoke till they can't breathe. Let's break this down. So immature is telling us that this is a blastic disease. Teen is representing T cells as well as the teen demographic. Thymus is reminding us of the thymus mass. Notch is the pathway that's activated in 60% of TALLs and it's actually now a target for therapies. And then can't breathe represents the respiratory distress that can occur from compression by the thymus. Another bare bones clinical case, a 15 year old male presents with fatigue, bruising and difficulty breathing. Physical exam reveals pallor, petechiae, ecchymoses and splenomegaly. CBC reveals pancytopenia. Peripheral smear has blasts. Flow cytometry is TDT positive and CD10 negative. CT scan reveals a thymus mass. Bone marrow biopsy shows greater than 20% lymphoblasts. Again, pulling out some key features. We have a teen in this case. A lot of his signs and symptoms are again related to his pancytopenia. We see the blasts on peripheral smear and the TDD positive telling us that this is a blastic disease. The CD10 negative leads us more towards a TALL instead of a BALL. The thymus mass is characteristic of the T cell 
and as well as the bone marrow biopsy confirming the TALL with greater than 20% BLAS. These are my references. Thank you. I hope this helped.